Hello there, everyone. My name is Raziel, and welcome back to Tomb Raider. I'd like to introduce my special guest, Dragonian Girl, Hi. aka DG. And like our last episode, we're not going to have a too long-winded of a opening, so we're just going to get right into the adventure. I promise I won't distract you too much. Ah, not a problem. <laughs> he invited me over and figured I'd sit in on an episode. Looks interesting. I've been watching online. You've been doing a very good job. Oh, wow. Well, thank you very much. Here we have a little extra commentary, see if she can add a little more humor to the situation. I, I can call things out on the bullshit that they are. For example. Because I've been noticing that in the episodes. <laughs> okay. Here goes. Oh, God. Rusty, rickety ladder. Oh, what could possibly go wrong? Of course. Let's not secure ourselves to anything, you know. <laughs> this goes. How are you not freezing yet? Look Game at, logic. I, your hands would be frozen to those rods, even if they are rusty. Please have full gloves, woman. <laughs> well, she won't look badass that I, way. Well, it's better to be, you know, not frostbitten than badass. Because <laughs> nobody wants to see you losing fingers and toes due to frostbite. But imagine doing so and still making them headshots. Couldn't get any cooler. I, it's very cinematic, but still. <laughs> I know it's supposed to be terrifying, but if I was there right now, I'd have to at least stop and just sort of look back behind me. Just so, because again, how big is this freaking island? I don't know, <laughs> but there seems to be a murder over there. Oh yeah. How many of y'all actually got that? <laughs> again, I'm well, seeing mad Far Cry aspects in this. I've been seeing nothing but Far Cry since I watched the first episode. Uh, seriously. I was like, this isn't Lara Croft. This is Tim this is Far Cry female edition. <laughs> I everybody compared it to um uh, uh, okay. it's, it's a PlayStation game, um Nathan Drake's Ah, I'm so lo oh jeez. What made you think that was a good idea? You're not gonna reach that. <sighs> Behold my epicness. Okay. Question for you, genius. Mm. Now, how are you gonna get down? That crossed my mind. I mean, like you don't have anything to. How are we? Why did we come up here? Oh, transmitter, I believe. should boost the signal from the transmitter. Okay. That's right. It's in All right, find the emergency channel and get a clear signal on your radio before you broadcast the SOS. Hey, we got everything crossed for you down here, LC. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, okay. <laughs> Welcome to Q102. <laughs> oh. You're good at explosions. Universal answer to everything. So good at explosions. I made a joke in an earlier episode about baby girl just can't stay clean. Uh, oh, okay. Zipline. We're not even going to see how she gets down all the way. Because that's that's not where you were. It's not. You were up there. Right. So how did you get down? The power of awesomeness. That's all it is. Game logic. Never question it. <laughs> 
Okay, now if this was a gag, that thing would have snapped. I even so that should have. <sighs> That's one way to go oh. down. Yeah, it is. I, this is this is my only problem with games like this. What's that? Is that they're, they're all about touting like, oh, we're doing all the re gritty realism, <clears throat> and then they do stupid shit like that. Well, again, I mean, it's a video game. We're not really here for the Yeah, and that's reason. fine. If you operate by video game logic, that's fine. But then don't sit there and, be, and boast about being, oh, we're being super realistic. <laughs> I'm sorry. I can be a downer sometimes. No, that's not a downer. I find it hilarious. I mean, perfect example. Look at Skyrim. Beautiful game, and I absolutely love it. They specified on how real they made the water look, the ants, and sure enough, they okay. did. But then again, this is a universe where dragons come and swallow the world. So yes. realism is out the corner. <laughs> don't remind me about Skyrim. I want to play that again. Uh, for those who may not have known, last night, Dragonian Girl and I, we participated in the Extra Life charity, which was, thanks to Daylight Savings Time, was to be a 25-hour <laughs> live stream. And given that neither of us have ever done a live stream before, mm. not even a two-hour one, doing a 25-hour one, let's just say it was definitely more... We bit off more than we could chew. Well, let's see here. Who's the genius who decided to start at 6 a.m.? I thought it was a good idea rather than midnight, but what, you know what? We made it to midnight. After making us go to bed at, like, 11.30 at night and then waking up at, like, 4.30 hey. to prep. Basic four hours night's sleep I'm used to, but at least we made it to 18 hours. That in itself as a start was amazing so Bef next before i had to tap out and he followed shortly soon because <laughs> i was falling asleep while playing a driving game yeah not the best way no okay so i need fire i swear these mice oh sorry just leave him be <laughs> okay so Oh, wait. What's that? It's shiny. By video game logic, it must be important. It's a lighter. Or... Uh, a uh, fire starter. Close enough. Yes. Oh! So I can make my own fire now. Yes. Did you... Did you, do the trick? Did you have to waste a torch to show that you knew how it worked? Well, how else would we know? I uh, other than the picture that just appeared. Yeah. <laughs> No need for bullets. Nope. I guess that's it. You need no Brits. I'll pull X to light the torch. Oh, awesome. Oh, you're going to light up the tankers. Yep. Huh. First, I'm going to light up the mouse. Oh, I won't Don't light the mouse. That sucker is huge. You won't feel a thing. No. No. Rude. I'm sure they want me to be in a distance, right? You yeah. don't want me to just... Yeah, it probably wants you to do it at the puddle. No, no. What's that? That's still too close. Um, no? You can run. Uh-huh. So you light it there, and the whole thing is... Gonna go follow the fuel back. And I'm trying to get her to run. She's walking. <laughs> well, you at least moseyed your way away from it. <laughs> oh, that was fast. Well, they said they were in the area. They just needed a visual. <laughs> so show of hands at home, who saw that coming? Cause I did. Zeus literally said, "Forget you guys specifically." I've seen enough lost. They're fine. <laughs> now, I do love this whole slide mechanic. The problem is, I'm facing the wrong way. I'm going to slide into something. I know this. Oh, crap. Well, someone never played Crash Bandicoot. That don't count. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I can't see a thing. Um, crap, 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 crap. Whoa. Uh, oh, so many splinters. Hmm. So many stitches. Okay, I, oh, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. Yeah, that, that's still coming. Give me a signal, give me a signal. There we go. Press X not to die. <laughs> and experience points. I should have gotten a lot more than that. <laughs> Whew. Oh, you're fine, Laura. Walk it off. <laughs> and just figure. How many times? I'm just thinking, imagine going to a hospital after. Oh, yeah, hey, survivor. At least I hope it's the pilot. <laughs> it's like imagine going to a hospital after just after just these few episodes. Imagine walking into the doctor's office and just standing in front of the doctor. 
I see him dropping a stethoscope. I quit. <laughs> Be like, have you considered not doing whatever doing the it is. things that you do? Clearly, they're not a wise choice. Have you considered an alternative workforce? You know, like I don't know, <laughs> bed tester. That is a thing. Really? Yeah. There's like a job you can get, like testing out mattresses, and like I think there's like a job that you can get, like you know, testing out hotel rooms. Okay, that I heard of, but actually testing out beds. I'm I oh, crap. I'm almost positive there's like some. I mean, I think anymore it's done by robots, or it's like they do like the the, the spring test and everything like that. But okay. there had to have been a point in time before we had those robots that somebody was sitting in a mattress and being like. Feel like Goldilocks. This is too hard. <laughs> Go away! Go away! Nathan Drake, that's one thing about. Because uh. that's what he looks like. Grizzly uh, version, but. Bad timing. Whoa, oh, oh, oh. Bad timing. Deod uh, I was about to say deodorant. I meant De dynamite. Alright, dodge. Take all the dead. Give me your stuff. Take him all he's down. Pretty much. Why would you not take his shield? It worked so well for him. That would make sense. Oh, I get to test my starter. Oh, God. Yay. The power of salvage. Why, why can't you just cut it down? Because like, I didn't you... understand that when you first did it. I was like, you have a knife. <laughs> I do. Just I have this. It. I have that hook, but I don't think it counts as a knife. But it's sharp and pointy, and if it can burn that quickly and not damage the stuff inside of it, <laughs> it's not that strong. I'm pretty sure you could just cut it a little bit and it would just fall. Why do you have to use fire? Because the game demands it. Um, <laughs> we do not question the weirdness of this universe. Don't question it. Don't question it. That's all I hear is just don't question it. Don't, don't, Camp. don't worry about it. I can't get so. it out of my head. You have, you have evil salvage. <laughs> you brought down a plane. It's not rational. You know it's not rational, Lara. There must be some explanation. I, I just don't know what it is yet. With all the stuff you've seen, why are you looking for rational? That's my thing. It's Yeah, it's not rational, but we all just saw it. A plane was coming and literally, you know, you, uh, nature said no. <laughs> you've got more crap to go through. 316. That's more bullets. Polish injector for increased firing rate. We'll keep that one in mind. I'm mad. I'm actually elevating this rifle and I'm hardly using it. Mm. We got that one. Muzzle break. Do they push around more accurately? For yep. Anything that involves accuracy, I am all about. <laughs> I, I'm not ashamed to admit it. My accuracy needs work. I can't say anything. I don't play shooting games. <laughs> Which is something that I actually want to ah, test. What the hell happened? The storm. It came out of nowhere. These clouds. They just surrounded the plane. Lana, listen. I saw the crash from here, so you must be close to my position. Just get back here safe. All right. <sighs> you you oh, don't. Way. You don't want to tell him that, like, you know, the pirate or the pilot was just like massacred by some dudes. Well, I get his hopes up. Oh, that—that's who that was. That's was... what she said. She's like, "That's the pilot," and I'm like, uh, "Well, no, you I know think? that was him coming down, but you're talking about the fight that I just had." Yeah. Who the? <laughs> they, they killed the pilot. Oh, that sucks. Oh, hi. Yep. I can't fire this thing upright. You want me to do it upside down? Yes. Oh. You got rope. Okay. So I'm gonna put the arrow in. I'm gonna yank him back. Uh, oh. Yes. RB. Shoot. Okay, close enough. That's cool. Ooh, right. Oh, there you go. I see. Oh, I see. Ah, you missed. Did I actually kill another one? I've been tripped plenty of times before. 
Press RB when using the bow, shoot and pull objectives. Cool! So you can shoot the, that crate over there because that's wrapped in rope. And, I could, and yeah. then, like, it, it was saying anything that's wrapped in, uh, wrapped in rope, you can shoot another rope into. Sweet. So that you might be able to pull down. That's what I was thinking. I was trying. Okay. There's got to be something good in there, I guess. Well, it, it could be the way up. Like, it looks like those other things are more stuff that you can pull down. So you're probably, like, making a path for you to, like, climb up. Probably. And the other thing with, like, a box. So that's either full of, like, loot or, um... That's or it's or it's part of your way up is like you start on the box and you make your way around. That's what I'm hoping that one room in the distance. Is. What, what was that? Oh. I'm going to go with those are explosive barrels. Nah, I tried that uh, earlier episode. I shot one and nothing. All right, fair enough. Yeah, so you shoot that and then you can shoot all of those things around. And well, at least one thing I've come to learn, which is a bummer, this. Uh, oh yeah, the the, here. the investigative mode. Exactly right. It's not perfect, because those white things there, I learned in an earlier episode, I can grab them, but they don't light up, so if I didn't just have blind luck, I... Well, I, I, I guess because they're already white in the in the overworld, mm -hmm. they don't need to hit it again and say, oh, oh yeah, no, these are, these are definitely things that you need to grab onto. Is this just for me to practice? It might be for you to practice, or maybe when you get up there, you'll notice that, like, you know, oh, these ways were blocked, and I needed to clear it. Uh, hit the hit the giant box. Maybe that'll help. Go. Mm -hmm. oh, yep. I right. try really hard not to backseat game, but I'm I'm, hey. I'm bad. Better than me dying horribly because I wanted to try something stupid. Now the thing is, they look about the same distance. I'll try. It's rope. You could probably grab onto it. Oh, yeah, there we go. Oh, so you climb up it, and then you go from there to there. Yay. And before I take your stuff. Oh, this might have also been, you might have been, like, trying to, like, oh. pull it over when you were fighting the guys. The white. Okay. Yeah, so. Oh, oh wait. So we'll check this out first. Yeah, so you can climb up that. Salvage. Don't get me wrong. Always happy for salvage, but... Oh, yeah. Really, that's, that's, well, like that's I said, that's that's what I figured. It was either going to be the way you had to go, or there was going to be loot up there. Because well, that's how video games work. But that's just it. I mean, as far as loot goes... I love salvage, but... Could they give me, I don't know, an item, a book, or something? Well, considering the fact that you were, like, shooting arrows at all those guys, <laughs> it w and trying to use, like, your arrows for the ropes and everything like that, and you're going to be using more arrows here. It's like... They're, the player is going to be using a lot of arrows. We should probably leave them another small package of arrows so they don't run out and get stuck. Okay, I didn't even do that. It it just automatically did it. Yeah, but good thing though. So okay. Shoot that. Ooh. Oh, rope bridge. Okay. So now we have new ways to maneuver. Neat. Can you like break those? No, I tried. Um. Ah! Because it's like, it's slowly rotating. Yeah, so. Now what would have been messed up is I do that next to a big old explosion. Like, <laughs> damn, we learned something. Well, you said you already shot it, so. Right, but that's what I mean. Knowing my luck, all of a sudden, but, oh yeah, this one can explode. <laughs> can I climb? No, I can't. No. It's just, it's just for the purpose of getting you across. I just wondering, because I see that box over there, but how can I get... You'll probably get up there, maybe. Maybe. Or if you go back to the other side, maybe you can make a rope bridge from that side up there. Like, maybe there's a, a... On the other side of the bridge, there's, like, another rope thing, and you can also tie it to that pole. Oh! Oh. All right, so you can't pull it. So maybe from the other side of mm -hmm. your rope bridge... I was kind of hoping, oh, yeah, yeah. And yeah, then you oh. attach it to that pole. But I don't think you can get across again. <laughs> I think it was a one-way uh, one thing. Maybe. <laughs> Unless you can get up that way. I stumbled upon this on one episode, and I thought I was going, there we go. All right, so. So cool. No, you're absolutely right. Awesome. Ray, I'm helping. <laughs> See, my sister, I was right with all my backseat gaming. <laughs> she used to yell at me when, I, when we were little, and we oh. played, like, Super Nintendo games. Wait. Okay. I guess you can only have one rope bridge at a time. Come on, physics. 
Uh, it's an old rotted log. Maybe it can only handle one rope at a time. Man. Was there a loot chest underneath you? Sort of. It was those orange ones. I think they gave me experience points. Oh, okay. They're no they're actual... they're just experience. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Yeah. She she used to yell at me because she would be playing a game and I'd be watching her, and I'd be and she'd be like, "Go to another area," and I'd be like, "Wait, what was that thing you just walked past?" And she's like, "Don't tell me to look at something after I've already walked past it." Could be vital. Just saying. It never was. <laughs> oh. Because uh, I would see things that weren't actually a thing. Uh, like wait 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 I think I saw like an icon pop up because we play like a uh, like like a, a PS one game <laughs> and be like I think I saw an icon and she she would check it out and it wouldn't be a oh thing. yeah that's one of your guys raw okay <laughs> and I did not see the cane but it also didn't give you the option to shoot him one moment well I didn't try I just aimed <laughs> there was this storm it came out of nowhere it's not your fault Lara. I called them here, Roth. Hey, we'll find another way. Mm -hmm. uh, mayday, mayday. The co pilot, Jessup, a bear. Another pilot. One, seven, seven, Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? Uh, yeah, badly hurt when I landed. I need to bring aid. Is anyone there? Captain Jessup, do you read? I've deployed a smoke signal. Please respond. Damn it, he can't hear me. I have to get to him. No. The signal's just over there. We've got our own people to worry about. We'll need to regroup as soon as they find Sam. I can't just leave him out there alone. I need to get to him. Sometimes you've got to make sacrifices, Lana. You can't save everyone. I know about sacrifices. No, you know about loss. Sacrifice is a choice you make. Loss is a choice made for you. I can't choose to let him die, Roth. You know, most of we talk about, you know, sacrifice for the greater good and all that noise. This is the first time I've actually heard somebody say that, it, it, you know, loss, not sacrifice, because it's a choice. That's a brilliant way of putting it. Uh, of course, I guess movies wouldn't be as entertaining if they did that. So, we got a skill point. Yay! I don't know. I really want to focus more on the brawling thing, because I'm hoping that, ugh, but they're all still locked. Dude, maybe if I... Eventually buy this, I get the. Oh well. Well, yeah. If it, if most skill trees are like you have to oh, get the one ahead of time. Yeah, it says it right there. Buy one more skill to unlock tier two. I don't want this skill. Well, sometimes you gotta take the skills you don't want to get the skills you want to get. Yeah. Has Skyrim taught you nothing? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Those skill trees are atrocious. They are. I mean, I still love the game dearly and play it like. A little too much, but yeah, no. Wait, did I get a third thing? Axe strikes. Deliver two swift strikes with the climb. Oh! I so because you unlocked the one thing, you got all the things that go with it. Well, looks like I just got one more. There's two more, but still, as I mentioned in an earlier episode, it looked like we were going to get melee attacks. I guess that counts. That is awesome. Mm -hmm. So now let's check our. Nothing could probably evolve with that. Oh well. We'll just set that. Well, I thought it like when I watched the first episode and I saw that you got the the pickaxe thingy, and I'm like, you could still use it as a weapon. Like, you can at least bash somebody over the head with that thing. Well, it hasn't let me. I've tapped a few buttons. The only thing it showed me so far is that um, one episode when they got close, I was able to shove them, which yeah. was cool. But yeah, I like you. I was thinking, hey, this thing can. It's like any cleaving a any, stone. any blunt object can be a weapon if you hit with it hard enough. But I'm guessing like I'm pretty sure I could knock you out. Sorry, they can't see it. I'm pretty sure I can knock you out with this bottle if I hit you hard enough. Especially if I hit you with the cap because the cap is very hard. With my thick skull though, probably not. That way. Anyway. Um, <laughs> but uh, um, the thing I'm a it. bad influence. <laughs> but um, I mean, but at least what it looks like with this game is. Certain abilities that would just be easy enough will come later on in the game, I hope at least. Yeah. But, so we're going to stop the episode here. Yep. Because, you know, we've got a little bit going on. Not as much action as the last two episodes, but definitely learned a little bit more in the story. We we fought some dudes, and we, we shot some arrows. Climbed an impossible tower that, goodness knows, the wind alone should have just blown her. What is she, 90 pounds soaking wet? Literally. 
The winds we, have blown we, her all away. Yeah, we, we let a man die. He'll walk it off in paradise. Like, you know, Pretty fine. sure he's not. <laughs> we could have acted a little faster and maybe helped him. I still gotta work on my aim, just saying. <laughs> but I'd like to thank Dragonian Girl for joining me for this episode. And Adding some color commentary and being as snarky as I can. <laughs> um... More than likely, you'll see her every now and again in the future on other episodes, maybe even this game later, seeing how things go. I'd like to thank everybody for visiting us today, yes. and I hope you all have a wonderful week. Bye. Take care. <laughs>